What's up everybody, Zavrin here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at Brew Mastery, Build Your Own Brewery. I'm gonna go ahead and read you the description from the Steam Store page. Um, it's just a demo right now. There's no expected date for the, um, for the full release or even for early access release. The demo seems fun. I did play through it, messed up. Didn't pick up any of the game audio. Um, however, the way it worked out was um, you only got one mode to play. We'll jump in and uh, talk about that here in a second. Um, but uh, yeah, so you've got an endless brewery mode. You can't go do the campaign. There's no campaign in there yet. And then there's uh, another option. I can't remember what it is right this second. Um, but according to the Steam page here, it says Brew Mastery is an innkeeper and beer brewery simulator. Build your own brewery, revive the old tavern, develop your ter ter uh, territory, grow ingredients, and try different recipes in a realistic brewing process. The tavern guests can all, uh, can tell you stories and give you tasks. And don't forget to pull apart the drunk orders. It's, uh, it's developed and published by Raven Games, or Rave Games, I'm sorry, Rave Games, no N. Um, and it looks really interesting. Um, the first time I went through it, there's no save option, so we're just going to go ahead and go through as far as we can actually get. Um, like I said, it's only in this brewery mode, so I'm assuming all you can do is just try your hand at different types of brews, uh, beers. All right, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just jump in. So you got campaign mode, which is locked, and events mode, which is locked. This one is just brewing brewing beers. Um, I don't didn't get the chance to see if any guests showed up or anything because, again, I just went through the first part of the tutorial. I went back to the main screen, um, but there's no save option either, so I would have to do the tutorial every time I tried to play this, so we're going to go ahead and try to knock it out in one go through. Alrighty, so um, yeah, there's continue, see, there's no, my old game's not up here. Um, the only options you've got is your settings, and that's just your graphic settings. You can change it between ultra and uh, very high, high, medium. Um, I leave it on ultra. It looks really good. The game, I will say, looks very, very good. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and go to new game. Endless game. Uncle Jeff taught me two things. Not to get drunk after long feasts. And not to keep all savings in one place. These skills help me become a great traveler. And not to die in a drunken brawl. Like most of my colleagues. As one Metropolitan Chronicler said, an adventurer's main enemy is not a dragon, but a drinking body. When I was squandering earned money in a distant poor town, I received a letter from my mother and became aware of Uncle Jeff's illness. I wanted to leave right away, but damn bureaucracy. Dwarves love to drink, dig and paper more than anything else, especially the papers. Therefore, I received permission to leave the city within two weeks. When I got home, my uncle had already died, so I hated bureaucracy and inherited a tavern. More precisely, I should have inherited. All the documents were with my sister, who arrived at uncle before me. Did I mention that I hate bureaucracy? It's, uh, that's how it just happens to always be, huh? All right, so let's go ahead. Um, as you can see, it's, it's, it's a pretty game. Um... There's not a lot. Of, obviously, they got the invisible wall here. So I'm assuming the, the drunken ogre brawls or orc brawls aren't going to be implemented in the game either. Um, however, it does look really nice. Um, I don't know if any of this stuff is supposed to be pickable. You're supposed to be able to forge certain things to uh, get better beers or to be able to make better beers. I don't know if wine brewing or uh, maybe mead brewing is any part of it, but it looks really, really good. And it's, yeah, it's WASD, you know. Uh, your pretty standard stuff. Here's your scribe guy. I like his uh, World of Warcraft uh, Warlock shoulders, the old school style uh, World of Warcraft shoulders. Um, here's the tavern. We'll have to go through the tutorial, so we'll go through it. But this is your bathroom. Um, I don't know if when the full release comes out, uh, if there's going to be any um, uh, options for like maybe uh customizing or building your own tavern there's a bar there's your mugs all that good stuff there um you can't go through e is your interact button x is to drop what you've got in your hands we'll go through it all here in a minute good evening you must be jeff's nephew uh who are you 
Everyone in the village knows me as the scribe, and it's my duty to know everything. Nice to meet you. Mutually. Uh, your arrival is important to the village. The locals really hope that it will be possible to spend the evening in a tavern again. Um, tell me more about the tavern. The tavern is a popular place in our village, and where else do ordinary people go after uh, or go gather after a hard day in the field? I drank a lot of light, winked at a beauty, and my heart somehow immediately became more cheerful. How everyone grieved after the fire broke out in this tavern a few years ago, and they said that it's not a, uh, it's not about the old Manson who forgot to put out his cigarette butt. Yes, you have a lot of work to do, but before we start it, it's, uh, you need to have a good night's rest, sleep in the bed on the second floor, and they'll come by, and I'll come by tomorrow after 7 a.m. Okay, uh, I don't get the option to ask about the inheritance. So, I guess we'll figure that out when the time comes. Um, upstairs is over here. This is your dining room. And then over here, I forgot to show it. Over here, which you'll see it again anyways. But, uh, nope, that's the bathroom again. Oh, the door's not even open. I can't do anything until after we, uh, go to bed, so... Uh, I was going to go show you the brewing station and all that stuff, so. Um, I looked around. There's nothing else to interact with except for this bed over here. There's a little reading nook next to the fireplace. Probably not the smartest to have that chair sitting so close to the fire while I go to sleep. But, hey, it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and time skip. midnight okay fair enough so let's go ahead and check it out he said 7 a.m let's see if he's already here and i did jump off of a balcony holding a um a barrel of brew and it didn't break my leg so i'm going to take it that there's no fall damage yeah he's not here yet so let's go outside oh here he comes See what he wants. Well, did you sleep? The conversation is going to be long. Okay, since our conversation will be long, it will be good to start with a glass of beer to freshen up. Uh, it's time to do it. But first, let me show you how all of this stuff works. Beer tastes twice as good when you know the secrets of making it, and it doesn't hurt to know a couple if you want. Uh, if you want to complete. And it doesn't hurt to know a couple if you want to compete. Oh, compete. Yes, brewing is a delicate matter. It's not for you just to crush grapes. Well, as they say, do not learn to brew beer, but learn to grow malt. Follow me. I'll show you everything. Show me. It won't hurt. Okay, so let's come outside here. So here's our kitchen area, it looks like. Or maybe our mixing area. All right, let's talk to this guy. I gotta get fairly close to him. Properly processed grain is the basis of any foamy. Look, there are some great stocks of Mr. Jeff left, but it will not be enough, so you need to fill the bag. First, go to the bag, press E to pick it up. Okay, understood. This is the bag. Let's uh, kind of back up a little bit. <laughs> Can I? Nope. Okay. Properly processed the grain. Uh, properly processed grains is the basis of any foam foamy. Um. Okay. Continue. Excellent. Pardon me. Now collect the grain in it. Remember, barley is the base of any uh, of so many beers. You yourself know that the taste of barley ale and that he gives foam and what he gives foam is there anything else in the garden besides barley or wheat mr jeff used to grow a lot here but damn weeds Just to get started get comfortable a bit and then start growing the wheat and other plants important for brewing okay so here's the wheat over here okay 
that's done now what to get started get comfortable a bit and then start growing this now leave it in a trough of water uh so that it's thoroughly soaked i think one day one day will be enough sorry uh it's about two uses of the hour clock the hourglass um that kind of confused me a little bit you can uh, find the clock on the table in the kitchen left mouse button activates the items in the hands right mouse button for an additional action uh for the watch this will reset the timer okay so now we're gonna come over here put the grain in there come to the hourglass i was looking for an actual clock oops i don't want to pick it up i want to drop it uh let's see R is for your recipes. Let's see. I'm not sure where the inventory is. Okay. Alrighty. Well, um, right click, left click middle mouse button nothing okay i think if it would come over here one of these things i can oh it's not gonna let me okay so i kind of screwed myself on that didn't i so tab okay tab brings up the radio menu so let's go ahead and use it i like how it just magically flips itself in my hand that's pretty cool like i said the graphics look pretty good everything's pretty good for as early uh the demo use is i think it said two Maybe three, I don't know. We'll go check it after this, though. So. Okay, no, it was just two. Okay, so, um... I guess we'll just walk around with this in our hand for right now, for the time being. I had to stop jumping so much. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to this boy here. Alright. We're gonna continue. Bring the bag inside. Wait another turn of the clock for the seeds to germinate. Brewing is a painstaking process. Haste only hurts. And life is too short to drink bad beer. And, uh, yeah, I used to drink uh, a beer back years and years ago. Um, steeped barley. I guess I just stick it in my inventory. Or do I take the whole bag? Let's go ahead and just drop it down here, I guess. But anyways, yeah, it was called Warsteiner. And, um, oops. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. Uh... And their slogan was, life is too short to drink cheap beer, so um, it reminds me of that. So, one turn of the clock here. Okay. Now, let's pick this back up. Um, I guess I have to open the bag. So if you're holding something, it won't let you. It just gives you the option of opening it. Meet him back out there after it's done. Okay. Oh, there he is. Bring the bag inside and put it in the turn. Da -da -da. Okay, let's go. What is this? Oh, that's where I'm walking to. Okay. I thought maybe there was something I missed. Some of these little mini games are kind of fun. Turn the stove to the corner of the workshop on the first floor because the barley needs to be properly dried in a vat on it. Uh, but be careful when the temperature changes. If you miss, the beer will be bitter. Okay. Which is up here. You just walk up these stairs over here. Start drying. Push E. Yes. Yeah, so left mouse button increases the temperature. Right mouse button decrease, decreases the temperature. So you'll see the temperature gauge over here. And then here is your... I there's a horizontal bar here and basically what you're wanting to do is keep that horizontal bar inside of the green line on the temperature gauge when it moves up and down so this bar here you're trying to keep it within the green so
Success. Okay. Now, the first, like, the first playthrough I did of this, uh, the last time I did a tutorial about 20 minutes ago, um, it had a, uh, at that, for some reason, it just, it took my brain a second to realize what was going on. And so, okay, I'm finished with this. However, in the oven, you can not only, uh, you can not only dry the grain, but also roast it. Thus, the, uh, malt acquires additional aroma and change of color. Try roasting the barley inside of the oven. Okay, fair enough. So, by choosing a temperature of the range and holding it within, you can achieve the changing color of the malt as well as the acquisition of additional flavors. First, select the desired range, then start counting. The, to purchase an additional taste, you will need to stop the countdown on the special uh, taste icon. Again, increase, decrease the temperature and um, space bar to stop and start the, the, the thing. So whatever you're wanting to select. So like say we're wanting to select uh, a coffee notes, right? So we're gonna go ahead and hit there. Space bar to start, space bar to stop when it hits the icon like that. And then let's give it some, how about some nutty roast flavor? And then some coffee hoppy flavor, I guess. Give a little bit of hoppy flavor to it. Okay, perfect. Now let's go talk to this guy, see what he wants to do. However, oh uh, yeah, we already did that. Excellent. Uh, with the stove finished, now bring the water and pour it into the special vat for mashing, which is to the right of the stove. Put the resulting malt in the same place. Wait. A special vault for mashing. Okay. Okay, put the resulting malt in the same place. Okay, so we got to get some water. Put it in there. And the water can be carried by the bucket or the barrel. You will need to find a barrel in the backyard. Or you will find a bucket on the table to the left. Okay, that's fine. Wait three hours and get to get the wart. The basis for the future drink is to carry the wart and what you got, uh, what you get out of it. Use the barrel from the backyard. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and open this up. We'll put this in here, and then we'll go grab the water. Let's go ahead and just drop that there. You can only hold five waters inside of the barrel, so we're gonna go ahead and take this, come over the water, fill it up. I tried holding more than that. It didn't do anything, so your max is five. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna drop this here. I mean, we got all these grains here, right? Okay, so nothing there. I'm gonna go ahead and move this also over here with the rest of these grain bags because let's just keep it organized. Um, Take the barrel, come over here, open this up, drop the five waters over there. I guess we could drop the barrel there. No. Oh, oh, that's for what you have in your hand. Okay. Exit. There. Boom. And then wait three turns, right? One, two, three. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. Did this. The resulting wart needs to be boiled uh, for this to take place. Uh, for this, place it in the oven on the second floor and add a little bit more water. Okay, so let's grab the barrel. Nope, cancel. I want E. Um, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. It'd be nice to be able to just put the, whatever's in your hand away as soon as you need to. But again, like I said, I understand it's just a demo. It's, it's like literally just started. So let's grab this, go upstairs. If we put this in here, um, and then go grab some water. Let's drop this here. I guess we'll go grab the bucket off the table here. Come outside to the well, grab the water.
So the bucket holds the same amount as the barrel. I think that's kind of strange. But yeah. Uh, and then what did he say to do? I guess it's done. So let's go ahead and drop this here on the table. I'm taking it that sound means it's done. Oh no, talk to the scribe. Okay, well, let's go ahead and... Oh, continue. I see you're doing great. There's still a little bit left. Uh, leave the war in the oven and use the trough next to it and be careful with your actions as to not spoil the drink. Okay. So I guess I didn't need this. So I'm just going to drop that there. Eat. Cool. Pull the wart. Have time, uh, have time to press the marked buttons below with the phrases related to the brewing of beer. Okay. So however, not all buttons that appear will be correct. Some of them are traps and their selections can lead to a deterioration of the quality of the wart. The game is given... The game is given 10 seconds or up to eight rounds, depending on your speed. The result depends on how many more choice or correct choices were made. So the right choice, strain the war, obviously. Wrong choice, read a book. So Q would be the right one, obviously. So let's go ahead and give it a go. Take a sample. Add firewood. Yep. Roast the grain. Yep. Go to a neighbor, buy a keg. Yep. Success. Okay. So, let's go see what he says now. He should follow you. Um, he should either follow you or you should be able to take all the directions at once. Um, so you're not just keep running up and downstairs. Anyways, uh, you can smell the barley must. Or can you smell the barley must? It's almost ready. It remains, uh, it remains to place it in a fermentation vat. Wait one hour. Uh, Chan is, around, uh, is in the corner of the workshop on the same second floor. Okay. By the way, now is time to add the yeast. Decide if you want a ale or lager. You can, of course, add nothing and leave it to chance. There are sacks of yeast near the vat. If you want to, if you want to clean it of yeast, and if you want to clean it of yeast, there is a red rag on a table nearby. To make ale, you need top fermenting yeast. Depending on a variety, the taste of the finished uh, drink will be rich, fruity, or caramel. If you want a lighter, if you want something lighter, then go to the bottom fermenting yeast. The drink will be lighter in taste and the characteristics of bitterness. Understood, it will be done. Fermentation lasts a couple of hours. Finish your beer, I'm waiting for you. Okay. So, see, I'm an ale guy. I like a nice dark ale. Um, uh, so, add top yeast, yeah. So let's go ahead and add the top yeast. Go ahead and I get, do we take the, open the boiler. Okay, so there's a beer. So let me grab this. Let's just put this in a barrel. Okay. Now do we come over here, add top yeast, right? Um, Is it already in here? Okay, yeah. So there's the top yeast. Uh... Okay, so that, that erases the yeast that's in there. So we're going to add one top yeast. We'll grab this. Let's go ahead and open this. Drop this in there. And then it says to wait one hour, right? Okay. So I can't grab it now. There it is. Okay. Now, um, talk to the scribe again. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to have to put that in there, but I'm like, whoa, what are you doing? Fermentation lasts a couple of hours. Yes. Okay. So he's waiting there. Let me come up over here. Eat open. Okay. Should I wait one more hour? I don't think I can, honestly. Uh, just take the barrel, open this. Drop this in here. Call that good. We'll go downstairs and go to the bar, right? Oh my 
my gosh. Okay. Oh, what are you doing? Now pour everything into the barrel and check that, uh, check with the book on the table. What sort you got? Okay. Do, 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 do. The music is very relaxing as well, so I do kind of like that. Um, let's go ahead and press E to recognize the beer. Happy Hunt. Okay, so let's show the recipes. Let's see what we got here. Happy Hunt. Happy Hunt. Oh, there it is. A braille nail has characteristics colored ranging from dark amber to reddish brown. This is a good drink. This is, or is, it is good to drink such beer by the fireplace, enjoying the warmth of uh, the fire and watching the reflections of the flame play in, in the drink. Depending on a species, the taste uh, can be nutty, caramel, or venous, and have a slight top of uh, a slight hop or malt aroma. So we got the uh, barley, top, malt, nut, chocolate, wine, and caramel flavor. That actually sounds really good. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy again. Continue, please. Yeah, he definitely looks like a warlock from World of Warcraft. Like, if WoW had, like, super high-res graphics. Hmm. Pardon me again. Uh, I can't wait to try it. Pour it into the kegs at the bar. Do not praise the beer when you pour it, but praise it when you drink it. And that's right. Pour, in it, pour it, it on the sample. And do not forget to monitor the amount of foam. Mugs in the bar on the shelf. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through here. Uh, let's go ahead and open it. Just drop that there. Let's go ahead and... I'm going to take this back outside. I guess this is the wrong outside. We'll just drop it here. This will be fine. I just got to remember I stuck it next to the front door. And, uh, oh, there's the outside I meant to go to. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Let's grab a cup. Come on. Let's grab the cup. Now, this one is a little bit different. Um, okay, there's my cup. So, let's go ahead and pour the happy hunt. So this, you just left click or right click and drag to get the cup basically stay within the green bar to reduce the amount of foam you get in your cup. So this bar here, you're just trying to get as little foam as possible. And it's going to be a failure. So let's try it again. Success. All right, cool. We got a good beer. Let's take it over to this guy. See what the heck he's got to say for himself today. Come on. Pour it out. Da -da -da. Give give the beer. Happy hunt. Boom. Excellent taste. Mr. Jeff would be pleased with your work. I see that you've already settled down enough. So here are your keys to the tavern. Wait for me to vi uh, wait for me to visit. I advise you to. Uh, I advise you to first brew a lot of different types of beer to please all your guests. You can open the tavern using a sign on the wall near the entrance. Okay, thanks for all your help, buddy. I'll take the keys. So we got, is that still got the beer in it? I can't see it from the back, which kind of sucks, but let's see what we got here. Okay, so yeah, I got six beers. How do I get rid of these? And I can't clean up that rag. Okay. Anyways, that's fine. Let's come grab my barrel. I just want to see what happens um, when I open up shop. So let's go ahead and open it up. See what's going on here. And then... I don't know if people are going to start coming in right away. But let's go ahead and grab this. We'll go out back and grab some... Uh, more wheat. drop that there let's grab my bag over here grab the rest of the wheat 
we'll grab some water, take it in there, and then see how it goes. So we got that. Let's put it in there. Grab that. Put the water in there. Drop this. See if anybody's in the see if anybody's in the bar yet. Oh, there's a guy here. Okay, so you got a timer above their head, it looks like. I greet you, dear sir. Would you please treat the traveler with something exquisite? Uh, I got some uh, horny hand or whatever it's called. So it look, does look like I could uh, hold up to five different types of beers. Um, I thought I had happy hunt. Okay. Oh, yeah. I gotta take the cup. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and give this guy his beer. Sell it for a hundred bucks. I'll take a hundred dollars for a beer. Heck yeah. All right. Okay. So I guess I'm going to close up shop and make a bunch of different beers. All they're going to get is everything that I have in hand. Um, and then when I'm done with it, we'll be able to, uh, oops. Uh, I'll just make a couple different types of beers and then do that. So give me a second here. What does this guy want? I love this beer and you do well. Thank you. I love this beer. You did well. Thank you. Okay. So. See, I don't know if I did enough. Oh. Damn it. Bartender, get me wheat now. I almost got robbed near the highway. I mean, okay. So, I don't know if he's talking about a beer or if he's actually talking about wheat. So, and as long as you lead it a little bit, you'll be fine. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's see what we got here. You got robbed, huh? That kind of sucks, buddy. Thank you. And uh, could I pre-pour? There's not very much room for, for anything. Um, okay, cool. So I can, I can pre-pour the beers, which is kind of nice, actually. Um, how many more drinks do I got in here? Two more. Let's grab two more cups. Let's go ahead and uh, grab a cup. Let's go ahead and pour some Happy Hunt. Wow, that was a success, but the other one was a failure. Okay, fair enough. Looks like we've got good timing here. And because we're going to close. Oh, look, there's the orc. All right. Well, maybe we will find some. Looks like we will find some. Uh, maybe we have to split up some orc fights. Come on. Okay, we'll just take this one, I guess. I made a good deal today. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I want to wash it. Bring barley. Okay. Sell that. I guess we're going to close up. But I'm going to wait to give this guy his beer before I close. 
Okay, we're just gonna go around. Go ahead. Okay. I love this beer you did well, thank you. I love this beer you did well, thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and close up shop here. And I wish there was a way that I could easily save the game. I'm gonna check again. Menu. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Well, see, there's no way to save. Um. Damn, okay. Anyways, either way. Uh, thank you all for stopping by. Thank you for liking, subscribing. Don't forget to click the notification bell. And uh, as always, you guys have yourself a great day.